If someone asks you to quickly name five positive things about a close friend or family member, but you cannot include superficial things like looks, most likely you would be able to do it in less than a minute. But what do you think would happen if someone were to ask you to quickly name five positive things about yourself? Not what someone else told you is positive, but what you truly consider to be a positive aspect of yourself as a human being. Some people would be able to answer this rather quickly, but for a lot of people, even if you give them the whole day, they would not be able to name five things. Why does this happen? The answer is simple. Most of us are not in touch with who we truly are. We get overwhelmed with the day to day and we rarely take the time to pause and truly analyze ourselves. If you want to be in a path of self-improvement, one of the things most experts recommend is doing an inventory. In the most basic of terms, self-inventory means admitting to your past mistakes, acknowledging your strengths and your weaknesses, and acting on your potential to make a change in the future. It takes courage to admit that there are aspects of ourselves that are holding us back. But the only way to move forward is to identify and acknowledge them so that we can focus on improving ourselves. My only advice is to make it a habit to periodically perform self-inventory. We are always changing. Our circumstances and our environment are always changing. The only way to keep moving forward is to have a clear picture of who we are, what are our strengths and weaknesses, and who we want to be. I know that doing this may seem like an insurmountable task. It may seem like a lot of work. And while it is not insurmountable, I am not going to lie. It is hard. It takes work and dedication. But nothing great is ever easy. Challenge yourself to be better. To lead a more fulfilling life. It's worth it.